Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today I'm very excited to bring back an old recipe of mine with an exotic twist. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a passion fruit cheesecake that has a crispy cheesecake crust from wall to wall. It's my favorite cheesecake in the world so let's dive into the recipe. Alright so first up you're going to split your passion fruit and de-seed them with a spoon to release the juices from the fruit. Next, you're gonna add in the cold diced butter to a food processor along with the sugar, flour, salt, and a splash of passion fruit juice or water. Then you're gonna blend the ingredients until they loosely come together. It should look and feel kind of like damp sand for a little reference. Once the crumbly mixture is done, you're gonna transfer it to a baking tray and bake it for 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or until it becomes a solid golden brown color. When the crumble is finished though, pull it out of the oven, taste test it of course if you dare, then set it aside to cool down for a bit. But next up is the cheesecake filling. So in a large mixing bowl, you're going to whisk together the sour cream, cream cheese, whole egg, sugar, cornstarch, and a generous amount of passion fruit juice until it's silky smooth. Then set it aside to settle for 30 minutes while you set up the crust in the cake pan. All right, so in a food processor for this cheesecake crust, you're gonna add in the crispy crumble that was made earlier with a little bit more butter and sugar to make it moldable in the cake pan and blend it for a minute or so. As a side note, adding an egg yolk during this process makes it much easier to work with. Just make sure you add in a small amount of flour in case it gets a little too wet. Uh, but once the mixture is almost like a sandy clay using a mini spring form cake pan, you can start to build the base and sides of the cheesecake little by little, being mindful to keep it an even layering throughout the crust. One way to ensure or aid with this is to try and find a large round cylindrical item in your kitchen, such as a jar top or something very similar to that to get a really solid round shape to the crust as you mold it. After it's finished though, you want to bake this in an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. When the cheesecake crust shell, if you will, is finished, take it out of the oven, let it cool down for 10 minutes or so, then pour in the cheesecake filling completely to the top of the mold, and then you're gonna return it to the oven, only this time add a tray of water to one of the bottom racks in order to prevent the top of the cheesecake from browning, or at least browning too much as the cheesecake bakes. But you're gonna bake this for 45 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so after a long 45 minutes, pull the puffed up cheesecake out of the oven and allow it to cool down at room temperature for at least an hour before refrigerating it, otherwise it will collapse. It will still taste good, it will just have a bit of a divot in the middle. Nonetheless, after the initial cool down period, put the cheesecake in the fridge to completely set up before removing it from the mold. Once the cheesecake is pretty solid and set up in the fridge, take it out and begin gently removing it from the pan with a little help from a butter knife or an offset spatula. After that, slice it however you need to, drizzle a little passion fruit syrup right on top, and enjoy a very exotic slice of cheesecake.
Hey, what's up guys? All right, so cheesecake is done, passion fruit cheesecake. It just sounds right, it sounds amazing. I was supposed to make a lychee cheesecake a while back, never ended up doing it, because I ended up eating all the lychees. And so I had no more lychees to make the lychee cheesecake, and I've been looking around uh, stores and markets for exotic fruit to kind of pair with that, you know, super creamy, custard-like, you know, cheesy goodness. And I saw some passion fruit at the store, so I picked it up and I ended up getting inspired to make some cheesecake, and this is what happened. I'm actually really excited to dive into this, uh, but this is sort of my informal introduction to my new kitchen. My wife Rachel and I bought a house recently, and this is it. So hopefully you guys enjoy my new filming space. This is gonna be uh, the new cooking space for me for quite some time, hopefully. And I'm really excited just to season it, get acquainted with where things are, how I'm gonna organize it, and uh, hopefully bring you guys along on that journey with me. But I'm gonna stop talking, dive into the cheesecake, and tell you guys what it tastes like. All right, let's do it. Oh, I need a fork. Let me put a little bit of the passion fruit syrup on top. This is what makes it look really beautiful. All right. Love this cheesecake. I've actually made this before on my channel um, with the crust sort of encasing the cheesecake. Just because I actually used to make these little mini cheesecakes at a restaurant I used to work at a while back. And they were very similar to this. They weren't as big. Uh, so I thought it was kind of cool to use one of these cake pans and see kind of how big or kind of the in-between size of like what a regular cheesecake would be and uh, the mini ones that I used to make. Anyways, it's a really cool little way of doing it. Normally there's the, the crumble around the sides instead of it being baked to like a crisp, um, but I really like this. That's, uh, that's obviously very crispy. Right away, you get that burst of floral, zesty, passion fruit. That's the first thing you taste. And then it becomes really creamy and some of that like baked butter, that kind of brown butter because you get that when you bake the uh, the crust twice. And uh, a little bit of sweetness and a slight taste of salt from the crispy layer on the outside. It's just really, really good. I don't know if you can see, this is just uber, uber creamy. Right, I mean, it's set, it's perfectly set. It's so delicious. Oh, it's probably a good thing just to have this set out a little bit before you eat it, just so the crust isn't so super cold from the uh, fridge like I took it out just now. Mm. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing here. Leave comments down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. And of course, I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, guys.